brilliant thought experiments. What is space? Humans have been trying to answer this question since eternity. Many philosophers and scientists have put forth their ideas about the notion of space. Some said that space is just a relation among things in it. Suppose Alice is standing 10 meters away from the tree and 5 meters away from the bird. The space between these objects exists only because these objects exist there. Space is just a relation among these things and not an independent entity. So, if you remove all objects from the universe, space as such will no longer hold any meaning. Isaac Newton, on the other hand, argued that space is absolute. It is an independent entity that exists even if there are no objects present in it. Newton argued that it is possible to see the effects of this absolute space. To demonstrate this, he said, let me indulge you in a thought experiment. Consider a bucket of water that is suspended by a rope so that it is free to rotate. Consider a case when the bucket and the water both are at rest. The surface of the water is flat. But as the bucket starts to rotate, because of the frictional forces, water begin to move. These frictional forces will act until the bucket and the water are rotating at the same rate. What we observe is that the shape of the water surface is now concave. If we compare the two cases, water and bucket are moving at the same rate. But we observe a concave shape only in the second case. So the shape of the water surface is not dependent on the relative motion of water and the bucket. So it must be dependent on its absolute motion. Absolute motion is a motion relative to absolute space. So space is not a relation between things. Absolute space exists. This was the most profound argument about the existence of absolute space at that time. But that's not the answer. In later years, people like Ernst Mach, Albert Einstein and many more contributed to our understanding of the nature of space. If you want to know their ideas, stay tuned and never stop questioning.